I'm back. <laughs> Wrote a clip. Man, I'll get this little bitch about it, man. I'm trying to grind, man. They wrote that bad word for me. They turn me up in the booth, man. I got something to say. Gotta start me from the top. Let's go. Check this out. I didn't put this, I don't have the mic or whatever, so the volume might sound different. But I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. I forgot to put this when I said announcements. All my music that y'all seen that was out is gone. Y'all probably see it on SoundCloud or y'all might see a couple people posted some some links or leaks or whatever, you know, on my music. So, you know, your maybe SoundCloud, maybe audio mat, maybe different like little off brand shit. But on the major streaming platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, all those things, all my music is gone. And uh, there's a reason to it. I do not want to promote anything that's bad for the youth because I'm for the youth. I mean, I can't sit up here and fix and repair broken men and broken women. I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I probably could, but I would rather start from the seed. You know what I'm saying? When you already, you know, almost out of there, it's no point. You feel me? I'd rather start from the seed. The seedlings, the kids, the children, they're the ones that, that are going to change the world. They're the ones that's going to be the future, the next generation. So, you know, if anybody want to, that's around my age or whatever, or older than me want to take my advice, that's cool. But like I said, I'm mainly speaking to the youth. So take it how you want to take it. But I took uh, all my music down because a lot of my music had a lot of just nonsense. It has a lot of stuff that I don't even listen to. So why would I promote something to you that I don't even listen to? You feel me? And a lot of it was from my past when I was, you feel me, traumatic experiences. Um, what else? Traumatic experiences, uh, depression, anxiety, all that, all the different disorders, all the different disorders was put into a lot of those albums back then. Now, some songs, like the most recent songs that I've been dropping, will be re-released, you know what I'm saying? But I just got to pay for the su subscription to, you know, put it back on there, but it will be re-released, but only new music from now on. And every song that I drop, because I make music, I used to make music for the fun. Then I started making it for the money. But now I'm back on it for the fun and enjoying making music and the way it make me feel and stuff. So I'm going to make music that I like to make, regardless if you like it or not. It's just like a hobby, just like how you play video games and everything. And I'm going to do this. Every song that I drop is going to have information in it that you need to know. It ain't going to be no nonsense, no rambling on, just talking about random different things, about drip, about designer, all these different things. I'm not promoting no more bullshit. It's going to be only shit that you can learn from. Literally. Every song. If it's an album, a mixtape, it don't matter. So if I don't go nowhere from it, if I don't blow up, that's fine. I don't care. But just know that's what's going to be released from now on. So if you miss the old, you know, the style of rap that I used to do, you can kiss that shit goodbye. Simple. So, uh, yeah. Y'all can go ahead and continue to the video now. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I had to laugh real quick because it feels so good to be back. I've been down lately. I ain't going to lie. I'm finna get into, I'm finna break down everything. And then I'm going to tell y'all the upcoming events. Matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all that now. So before I get into the video, the actual video, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know I'm back. Uh, more consistent videos going to be coming y'all way. Uh, the hair been growing since the last video y'all seen of me now. <laughs> hair been growing and I'm going to let it drop. Let's go. So more videos coming. Uh, I'm going to have... It's going to be a lot more creativity in my videos. Uh, I don't know too much about the editing. It's probably going to be about the same editing. I'm going to try to get better with it, but until I get better equipment, but you got to work what you got. And uh, more knowledge, more knowledge on the way and more perceptions that you can that you can look at 
and it's just gonna be beautiful it's gonna be a lot of information a lot of knowledge you feel me and i'm also letting this connect too <laughs> finna let it connect so we're gonna start off the video like this straight up no lies i've been going through a lot i ended up starting letting the past get to me i started playing the game a lot i started eating bullshit i started eating dairy i ain't gonna lie i'm talking about ice cream i'm talking about i ain't gonna lie i started eating meat again i'm talking about eggs i'm talking about uh i ain't gonna lie the other day i'm gonna keep it real with you i ain't even care some pork some uh i even had pork and i ain't ate that in years bro like i don't know what was going on with me i ain't gonna lie i guess food i guess since the food was tasting so good it was helping with a hard time and i ain't finna be the one to hold back on what i gotta say i mean it is what it is just say it and probably this video right here might help a lot of people so look i started eating bullshit again playing the game in the house you know and this was before this was before the job that i'm about to tell y'all about so let me tell y'all this first I don't know. I, I know y'all seen the video previous to this. I don't know if I explained it, but uh, I was working at a job on a military base, right? And it was terrible. I didn't have, I had to be on time. I had to keep renewing my military pass or the, the, the pass to get on the base. Uh, I had to wear goofy uniforms. I couldn't wear hair, AirPods. And usually what I do is if I'm wearing AirPods, I get to watch like, my videos or listen to like listen to like you know motivational shit while i'm at work so it can keep me striving and keep me going so i can get away from this because anybody that usually work like nine to five jobs or working for other people they complain about the job that they're at but they don't do nothing about changing it because when they get home they distract themselves from reality and they distract themselves from what's going on around them by playing the game probably getting drunk going out going out you know having sex with this person that person just trying to you know pass by and forget about the day that they just had and then wake up the next day plug back into this system whatever you want to call it um the next day and then they back in the same boat <laughs> nothing changes so this job i'm gonna give y'all a description where i was working so i was working in the kitchen i was making like what 1750 it was cool money i guess it was more than what i ever made you know Obviously, I can make more. I know that. Come on, I'll be real. But look, it was something for right then and there. I was just, and let me tell you something. I was just about to start ordering stuff. I'm talking about like, bro, I was finna really be on my healing journey. Like, I was finna really start getting into it even stronger. I was just, I had the three bidders from Yaki Awaken website in my cart. I had, what else? I had some other stuff in my cart from his website. Bro, I even went to the uh, Dr. Sebi daughter. Had some CMOS or had some some stuff in my cart from her from her junk from her little website i had some stuff finna come in bro they just sitting in the cart now because i mean you know i only worked there for like a week or two a week or two it ain't last long so let's get into it the job wearing goofy uniforms had to wear a hairnet couldn't wear airpods couldn't couldn't even pull out your phone and y'all know i don't really care too much about pulling out my phone and all that stuff or being on the phone or anything. It's not like I'm scrolling on social media, but see the thing is about it though, as long as you're using the technology to benefit for your benefit, yeah, you getting, yeah, it's like, it's like 50, 50, you know what I'm saying? You got a phone, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to use it, you're already looking at the screen as blue light. It's affecting your eyes. It's messing with your eyes, but at least if you're going to be on it, do something productive. That's going to put you in a better situation. So, you know, you're looking at that blue light, you staring into the blue light before you go to sleep or whatever you're doing when you're over, you're on the phone at least if you're going to be looking at that phone at least do something productive like try to learn something you know youtube learn something read like uh, uh online books or whatever try to do something productive right so couldn't use your phone couldn't do nothing probably 40 like 30 to 45 minute breaks or whatever it's just goofy, you know, the regular, the regular shit. So knowing me on my breaks, what I'm doing is I was coloring and I was like, I tried to write in my journal, but this was starting to be the downfall of where I'm at 
and I'm starting back to get back into what I'm, you know, getting back into, you know, what I've been doing, you feel me, eating healthy and just trying to make a change for my life. Because working at that job, I definitely felt the shift. It was something, something happened, something, something went right. <clears throat> so tell me why. I'm going to say this. One of my favorite foods growing up was definitely pizza. Tell me why there was a Domino's, a walk away. I'm talking about like a parking lot over that wasn't even that far away. And then knowing that you got phones, you can literally put in the order before you go and break, go and break. So you don't have to wait the time. You could just pick it up. I guarantee you not. While I was working that job, I didn't had over. What? 10, 10 to almost 20 boxes of pizza. And I'm talking about like. I'm talking about even breadsticks too, not, not including going to the vending machines when I didn't have no money. And I was probably, I probably had like a dollar or something and I probably go in there and buy me some, uh, get me like some, some candy. And you know, I don't eat this stuff. I don't eat this stuff. I don't know what was going on. That job was terrible. It was terrible. So I was eating, it was eating pizza, buying, buying, don't, I was eat, shoot, first payday splurging on freaking, do, uh, Krispy Kreme and I don't even know why I was eating that stuff I would come home from work right and I would not work out I would not work out I wouldn't do nothing I come home I that's when the game and started I came home I probably I stopped stretching I stopped doing my stretches my yoga came home played the game laid down you know didn't do no meditation I haven't done anything bro so I'm really I was really trying to figure out what was going on and then I kept telling myself I did I I knew exactly what was going on. I slowed down on the videos. Y'all seen that. I ain't made no YouTube videos. I ain't made no TikToks. I probably made one TikTok. That's it. And uh and see the thing is about the videos and the TikTok, I'm not saying it like I need to make it, but you know, that was a part of my journey. Like I was, you know, updating y'all and helping and while I'm, you know, updating myself, updating my programming. You feel me getting healthier on my healing journey. I was also helping with y'all's, but <laughs> it seems like that ain't, wasn't the case at the time because that I don't know that job was like it was. I can definitely tell that it was bringing like it was making me relapse on the past and all that stuff, bro. And then when I actually started working there inside the job, it was like <sighs> nothing but negative people. I didn't work, but I was working around people, arguments, and, and let me tell you this, I haven't worked around a female in a couple years, so I haven't really been around females for a long time, because I chose to work on a golf course that y'all seen that video when I had got fired from there, I just can't keep a job, that's a good thing, I guess, I don't know, but look, got fired from the golf course, but on that golf course, I was actually, how can I say this, on that golf course, I was working with all all dudes, right? And I know that I'm not gay. I'm just gonna say that. I know I'm not gay. So I'm like this, okay? There's no females around. I don't have to worry about no distractions. I can get my money. I can make my money and go home. I ain't gotta worry about talking to nobody. Finally got back in the industry, the, the kitchen. I was a uh, I was just on the floor sweeping. I was sweeping floors, wiping tables, and washing dishes. You know what I'm saying? And the thing that was terrible that I didn't like about that is that my freaking hands was wrinkly all the time. I'm playing in that water. I'm like, bro, this is goofy. I'm putting my hand, they put my hand in hot water, 170 degrees or something like that. Boiling water. Trying to clean these dishes. It was over. With. Then you got, uh, shoot. like I was saying about the females, I was working with females and they weren't doing nothing but gossiping. And, you know, I'm a good looking dude. So they all on my tip. But see, the thing is, I'm not looking for that right now. I'm not looking to be in no relationship. I don't even want no no friends like no, no, no girls as friends. I don't want no dude friend. I don't want none of that. I'm just on some chill shit. Like I'm just trying to figure shit out. I don't need nobody around me to distract. Me. So that job just didn't work. You feel me? And then the way the clock out shit was. It was right there next to the office and the office is small and there's always somebody sitting in there. So I couldn't pull no finesse moves like I usually do by trying to, you know, sneak a clock out and then take off. I couldn't do that. I had to wait on people to leave, but they them old folks wanted to sit in the office and talk. I'm like, bro, this is like terrible, <laughs> terrible. So I'm glad 
I got up out of there. And I mean, the day I got fired, I was mad. And I remember that. And that was around when 2K24 was coming out. So I ended up, so when um, I had ended up getting the game, because somebody had ended up buying me the game. And I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Bro, I got to playing 2K. I'm in the house, not doing no, I'm waking up, bro. I'm telling you when I'm plugging back into this, when I'm plugging back into the matrix, bro, that's what I say. A lot of people say waking up. I just say my own thing. I plug back into the matrix. Boom. I don't even brush my teeth. I don't do nothing. The stuff that I usually do, I don't brush my teeth. I don't do nothing. I get straight on the game. And then the times I do brush my teeth, it was pissing me off because I started to floss. And when I usually, I always floss. I didn't mean to say started, but I was flossing and I really, I was starting to feel that Bro, my gums was hurting from all the candy and all that stuff. I said, bro, ain't no way that I'm finna get a cavity this quick. All I've been doing was eating BS for just like three weeks now. So I was like, ah, I have to, I have to make a change, but I just couldn't. Then I ain't gonna lie. This is something that I know nobody is going to admit and nobody's going to talk about. I started beating my shit again. And I'm not afraid to say it. A lot of people be afraid to say, uh, go ahead and say it. I've been, y'all know, y'all know how I get, bro. Anybody that know me, bro, I've been on semen retention for a very long time. I'm talking about like four years strong. That's how serious that shit got. I started beating my shit. Relapse into the old days when you rem you remember that feeling that you had, that uh, dopamine that you got from when you, you know, you was bussing. Um, that dopamine that you got from when you was bussing. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was feeling good, but then it was like, damn, what am I doing? But instead of bashing myself, like a lot of people would do, and go deeper down that rabbit hole, what I did was I just completely stopped. In the rising, or I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say for the people that know what rising is, it's the morning, but I don't like to say morning because I mean I don't mourn, but I'ma just say it for y'all. So this morning, bro, I got up, I stretched and jumped, I stretched, and then Shoot, I think I had the only thing I had today was an avocado and some and some uh and some spring water. And shoot, I'm just back on it. Like, you know, it ain't never too late to get back on your journey. You feel me? That right there was just unexpected. I was so disappointed in myself. I was telling myself, because I know sometimes I be feeling like I have different personalities. So I was telling myself, like what would myself like <clears throat> like in the middle of my my not my spiritual journey, but my healing journey. And when I was doing really good, I'm talking about eating only fruits. I'm talking about drinking natural spring water, taking herbs, drinking tea, all that. What would I have said to myself now? And shoot, I had that. I had I chopped it up with myself and got myself right. Instead of going, how y'all spend a thousand dollars, go talk to a, uh, a therapist and they ain't doing nothing for you. I sat back and talked to myself, got got right with myself and shoot, I'm good. So, you know, we back on it. And I'm just going to take it nice, uh, you know, steps at a time. But I'm going to be greater than what I was. The journey like I was, the journey that I was on is going to be even greater than that. You always got to level up and upgrade. It's going to be way greater than that. I'm going to be muscular. Y'all going to see abs. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be built like Baki. You know what I mean? <laughs> but look. But yeah, that was that. That was that. Like with the job. And I'm just giving y'all an update on everything that's been going on. Y'all going to definitely see more creativity from me, for sure. With the topics, I'm going to get into more topics, more diverse topics than just talking about spirituality. Because at that time, at that time in the video, y'all, the time y'all was watching my videos, that's when I was going and I was learning about spirituality. So since y'all seen that curve and that and that chapter in my life, but I'm talking about everything, you feel me? Because I got I got a different I got a different skull cap on now. So it's different. I'm. <laughs> It's not really different. I'm the same me, but I'm just upgraded. So, yeah, that right there, that's that for that. But uh, y'all leave down in the comment section how y'all doing. And I already know this video gonna help a lot of people because I'm, I'm open. And that's one thing I will say that's different now than how I was when I was making the videos like a couple months ago. I ain't saying that I was lying then, but I'm more open now. Like, I know for sure I wouldn't have told nobody that I was beating my shit. But see, the thing is, it's like this video is serious, like it's serious. And I know the only only people that's going to sit up there and laugh about that is the people that's probably going through the same. And they just using this as a opportunity to, you know, 
give themselves some some pleasure off of laughing at somebody else but see the thing is it's like people that's really struggling with the shit that really need help so i know this video gonna help a lot of people so yeah that's how we gonna end it i really do not remember my freaking outro the way i used to end it i think i used to say it's your boy i'm gonna just say it like this i'm gonna watch my videos i got i got i might come up with some new shit i ain't gonna lie but i'm gonna say it's your boy dolo world slash dolo university slash dolo entertainment slash nature dolo hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe hit the post notification bell and follow me on my socials and i'm out peace <laughs> y'all stay tuned y'all stay tuned i got some coming i got some. i got a lot coming for y'all stay tuned peace always remember this if you feel like quitting that's just the universe testing you be patient be yourself and stay focused Peace.